by Rashad Miller and the one and the only John Shannon. Head judge. For now. For now. <laughs> Until 50 minutes from now, hopefully, because that's when the internet goes down. Then everyone just disappears. We do. We die. <laughs> just a little bit on the inside. Well, we have a turn to Puget Leech. For uh, payment. And it looks like David is going to follow that up with a uh, what is this? turn three sparring for next. David Knight here, Damon 20. Like Those playmats are a good color. We're showing things up. Yeah, they are. We we learned this from um, getting our old playmats stolen. And we're like, oh, let's try these. And they worked out. So congratulations to us or Serendipity. That was a good movie with uh, John Cusack. And somebody else. No, it wasn't a Friday. Lightning. A little better. Most of the time. The only thing is with these tables, you only have a mini red zone in there. So I think you can only attack with one creature at a time. <laughs> the red zone's not big enough. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> we usually just eliminate the whole red zone, but then the players just you might slide be able everything to get around. three Crinax tokens in there, though. <laughs> They're small enough? Yeah, they're only one ones. If you're using six siders, if you're using 20 siders, only one. Right, so we discarded a Terminate and a Brewmate Dragon to that. I really don't have time to eat this apple. I gotta throw it away. So the interesting thing is, uh, is the collar typically played at the Jun deck? Uh, not typically. Because that's one of the things that uh, David plays main. And uh, he's actually been above 20 life in one or two matches, he said. Red, green, black. Sure. Yeah. In the semifinals, he was able to uh, wake up a land, as he calls it, and collar it up. That seemed pretty effective to come back from three life. You're talking about David. David he here. Plays collar me. He does. Can we get David's list? Let's grab that. <laughs> He does, in fact, run Collar Main. Not very good in the Jun Mir match. That's what won him uh, one of the semifinal games. Oh, really? Yeah. That's what I was saying. He was able to wake up a land and collar it when he was at three life and come back. Hmm, that's interesting. He's running one uh, between this blast main. Two Garrick. One Basilisk Collar. Yeah, just a one of. What <laughs> So it looks like Blood Braid Elf is going to cascade here into... Oh, sorry. Bolt. 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 Stop there. Sure. And, yeah, I'll use it. Yep. 12. Damon 12, David 12. Um, and I will go ahead and attack with these guys. Uh, wait a second. He just revealed Slave of Bolas to Cascade. And that card is not in his menu. This is game one, right? Yeah. I'll go check it out. Okay. You should, yeah. So, head judge is going over to the match. There might be a problem. Um, with, with... Game loss failure to de-sideboard, perhaps. Um, so looks like head judge is going over there. David. Uh, so, while while that's going on, Mills from Pulse will target both or er, target one of the sacklings, kill both of them, and Payman here will get in with a putrid leech. Payman nine. Yep. Okay. He's got four great sable stag. One Malakir Bloodwick. Um, three Deathmark. Yep. I definitely saw a slave one of Three Deathmark. One Mails from Pulse. Yep. Two Slave of Bolas. Nope. Okay. Well, it's a problem. And what else? Should we wait uh, or play it out? Um, yeah, so the Seize Gangs are in and the uh, Slave. The Seize Gangs are out and the Slaves are in. You should do something. I have not been told to stop the match. <laughs> says the, the head judge Sean Simmons says it's likely I will do something about this. Uh, Rashad, your thoughts on this situation? Uh, sounds like we're gonna get out of here a little bit earlier. <laughs> You're really 
key it on like just leave, leave. Well, no, I, I don't want to see I any more magic. Magic I sucks. I would love to watch all this magic, but the internet is just abruptly going to be ended at 11:59. And one, right? at 1159, yes. that no means the stream goes yes. down. And then we can try to get okay, it back so what up. What we have here is we have uh, I show you the cyborg, which is basically cool. yeah, a result of the next Eclipse mismatch for game one. Yeah. This is why I love um, okay. Midnight yeah. Magic. All right. Here's your cyborg. It's not quite midnight. I'll take care of it. Let's get this correct. Yep, and that's game one. David loses because and, uh, he forgot to do cyborg. He's running slave for boss. Walked away from that table too. Now he'll. Sideboard, but I think he was pre sideboard for the gen mirror. <laughs> In a way. So that. I think, no, I think they play. Well, if this were caught before the game, they would they would basically start in the game two without sideboard. So. I don't know what the ruling, exact ruling is. John Shannon, the head judge, those over there. We'll find out if he gets the sideboard. It may be game, go to game two, no sideboard. Man, that was weird. I thought I had that game too, man. Wow. It feels so much easier though that we split. Yeah. It took a lot of the pressure off there. John Shannon coming back over here from from Albuquerque. Something around there. So what 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 happened, John? So it's 34. I went over and stopped the game. Yes, sir. The judge said, "Is there a game?" And I said, "No." That card in your graveyard, Slay, John, that's not in your main deck. It, it is 850. He said no. So he got the scoop. Yeah, it is 850. Okay. He does get to choose whether to play or draw in the next game, though. Yeah, half of 17 Do they get the cyborg for this game? They do. Now, did he notice that um, Slay would be able to pull off in his main deck when he discarded or whatever? It was, it was Cascade. It was Cascade, oh, okay. too, yeah. That is an interesting point, though, because if you notice an error and you choose not to say anything about it, hope nobody else will notice. You can gain advantage. Seriously. But you don't think that was happening in this case? Yes. Careless mistake. Yeah. And the interesting thing is, before, after his other matches, every time after the match, he was careful to take time on the sideboard, and he basically kind of rushed after the semifinals. So that resulted in two cards that weren't supposed to be there. He did have the right number in the sideboard. Though. Yeah. But now he'll get the sideboard for real. Or sideboard back into his main deck. <laughs> I mean, okay. he, he just got through playing these John Mirror already. That's right. Right. So I think he, he was already nicely pre sideboarded. He was ready for this. I mean, this match. I don't know what he was doing because his sideboard, he had his roommates out. His roommates pretty powerful card in the mirror. Uh, it depends on if you're on the play or the draw. Like, if, if you are on the play, then usually on the draw, the gem players take out their blindness because they're not that good. So then you have the opportunity to actually cast proof HP. Right, right. If you're on the draw, then you're the opponent's gonna have blightness and they're just gonna blight in with you. And if you have roommates in your hand, yeah, you just, just, you just want it on the top of your deck. Right. That's fair. Yeah, although he was on the draw when they lost more than five in the semifinal, and apparently he took out the big blights. Oh no, no, he took out the seeds. I've never seen anyone more than six. It's not roommates, also. He took out something. Whatever. Oh, fair enough. Fair enough. Maybe there's something else around. No, Jack is close.